Hello, I'm here with Sadad Al Hosseini, President of Hosseini Energy and a former executive with Saudi Aramco. Mr. Hosseini, um, how have the challenges facing the industry changed in the last year? Well, we've seen stronger demand. Uh, the first half of uh, 2017, we saw an increase in demand of over 2 million barrels a day. So that's quite a change. Uh, last year, it was less than a million. And uh, we've seen a reduction in terms of uh, available capacity and production from both OPEC and non-OPEC. So it's a much more optimistic outlook that we're looking at. And we have to see how the end of the year completes this uh, 2017 and how 2018 opens up. Now the theme of this year's Oil and Money Conference is adapting to uncertainty. What do you see as the main uncertainties going forward? Well, this recovery in oil prices has uh, inevitably triggered some more drilling, uh, some more development, some of it short cycle in North America, hopefully some long cycle uh, beyond that. And the big uncertainty is how fast we will have new capacity coming online in 2018, 2019, and whether it will exceed supply, it will exceed demand again as we go forward. So we're looking at a cyclical risk again of underinvestment leading to a shortage of supply. On one hand, a shortage of supply in, uh, as we go into 2018, but then soon after that, there may well be a surge of supply, in which case we may have a risk of uh, unbalancing the market again. And finally, um, we've heard a lot about growth in EVs. But I'm wondering, is non-auto oil demand, in your view, such as trucks, planes, ships and petrochemicals, as secure as oil companies believe? Or could we see another big surprise, say a war on plastic, or sudden momentum with EVs? Well, electric vehicles are important. Uh, they are a contribution to the total uh, transportation solution, but uh, they cannot work in all environments and they are not available where you don't have power generation and that's many parts of the world. And in any case, uh, they still have a lot of technical limitations. So uh, the uh, challenge of electric vehicles to the oil industry, I think is, is overstated. I think uh, we'll see strong demand for transportation, fuels, hydrocarbons, well into the 2040 cycle. And finally, you're a veteran of oil and money conferences. I mean, what particularly about oil and money do you think is different from other events? Oil and money is not simply technical, it's not simply financial, it integrates the politics, the economics, the, the whole uh, issue, a range of issues that uh, confront the oil industry and therefore it gives a complete, a holistic view of the industry. That's what makes it quite different from all the other conferences. Well, thank you very much for taking your time. Thank you.